Okay, so uh, this is Dr. Scott Geller, uh, eye floater, laser ophthalmology in Fort Myers, Florida. We have a great patient from Houston, Texas, and he is a medical specialist, a pathologist, and I love doing medical doctors because they always have more or less occupational needs. Uh, I've done radiologists, and, and I did another pathologist who was from Canada a number of years ago. But when did you have your, your posterior vitreous detachment, your PVD? Uh, this was maybe uh, two or three months ago. It began yeah. in my left eye. Yeah, and I spoke to you, uh, at what, about On a month phone? after it occurred? Right. Something like that, beginning right. of the summer. And my advice to you was, well, you know, give it, a, give it another month or so. Uh, I, I, often these things get out of your field division. You were told, you were told you had a Weiss ring or, or, or you decided that on I your went, own? Uh, when I went, when I discovered the floater, I pretty much knew it was a floater. I went to uh, the ophthalmologist at yeah. the medical center. Yeah, it's in uh, Houston. It? We got and it in there did, somewhere. That's they an did entry. the uh, eye exam and and verified the floater and told me to basically live with it. Did they, did they tell you, did they use the word Weiss ring? Or did you use that word? Uh, no, they used the word floaters. Okay. Floaters, okay. generic. Yeah. And told me basically, uh, I asked about uh, laser treatment and they basically said that uh, it, was, it was not worth the treatment, that you can get used to it. Basically. And and across the board, probably for ninety percent of ninety five percent of patients who've had a PVD, that is the case. But there are is that small number of exceptions, and those are the patients that I I like to see. And and, and, and yours was not different. It wasn't just a ring structure. It's like a membrane. You had a quite a, quite a, a big membrane. There's yes. a picture of it there. Uh, across the what the, we call that the hyoid, a thickening of the surface of the vitreous, but. After three three laser sessions, where are we? Uh, we completed the the fourth yeah. laser treatment today, and it's uh, immensely improved. Uh, my central vision is almost completely clear, and I would say it's uh, 95, 98 uh, percent. There's a few tiny dots in the periphery which do not bother me much. So I am uh, uh, you're, you're well satisfied, well yeah, satisfied. That, that's great, and I always like to do medical doctors, and more is not always better, but uh, most of the patients I do take uh, two to four sessions. I, it's for a very simple, simple opacity, you might be able to get it with one, maybe two, but like in your case, you know, there are these thing, little things that escape, and that's quite extensive there, that, that thing. I can't wait for you to show this to your specialists in Houston who say yes. it can't be done because I do this every day. <laughs> I like yeah. doing this and that's that's the uh, funny part about it. Yeah, so I'm going to mm -hmm. uh, return uh, uh, for maybe my next routine eye exam and show them. And, oh, uh, I, I think they'll find it fascinating and they'll yeah. wonder how do you do this. They never call. Yeah. Maybe yeah. they should some year. Yes, <laughs> so uh, I'm glad I came here. It was well worth the plane ticket. And uh, I recommend anyone having a similar problem, uh, do not hesitate and call Dr. Geller's office. My and, pleasure. Yes. My pleasure. And have a great trip back. Thank you very much.